When it comes to investing, how do you know if your investing strategy is actually good? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to calculate the Sharpe ratio, which is a way to measure how much reward you're getting relative to each unit of risk in excess of the risk-free return. And this is very useful because it allows you to quickly evaluate whether your strategy is beating the market considering the risk you're taking. So in this video, I'll also share the exact formula, how to do this in Excel, what is the data you need, and basically how to calculate the Sharp ratio. So let's get started. So first, let's go through what is Sharp ratio. So Sharp ratio compares the return of an investment with its risk, how much return you can get relative to each unit of risk. So basically, if you are getting a lot of return, but you're also taking a lot of risk, then your investing strategy isn't that good. But if you can get a lot of return by taking very little risk, you so your risk to reward ratio is very high, then it is a good investing strategy. So the basic benchmark is this. If your sharp ratio is less than one, it's a bad strategy. If your sharp ratio is one to two, I would say that is average. Above three is great. And if you are four plus sharp ratio, I would consider that insane. And when you're looking at hedge funds, algorithm trading, you want to get to an above three sharp ratio. Some people claim that they can have a four plus sharp ratio, <clears throat> but sometimes that might simply be overfitting the model or it is extremely rare. So if you have a very good strategy, I think you should aim for a three plus sharp ratio. So this is where you want to be. Now the sharp ratio formula is your return minus the risk-free return divided by the standard deviation, which is the volatility of your strategy. So in this video, we're going to be going through two examples and I'm going to teach you how to calculate your own in Excel as well. And we're going to use the risk-free rate of 5%. So the interest rate right now, as of I'm recording this video, is around 6%. So if you want to use a long-term average, let's say 3 to 5%, I think that's fine. So I'm using a slightly higher risk-free rate. But if you use a lower risk-free rate, what it, that does, it, it just increases your sharp ratio. So I'm using a tougher risk-free rate, which is a higher risk-free rate, which is fine. Okay, so first, let's talk about the data you need to calculate your own sharp ratio. So you need three columns. First, you need the year and month, which is basically the date column. And you want to know the monthly return, okay? So this you can either generate from your broker or you just look at your broker performance chart and basically write this out. So I generated this for S&P 500 and then afterwards you can calculate the percentage change. So this is simply one plus the monthly return. So once you have this, these two columns, pretty much you can do everything you need. Now the first thing is that you might be interested in calculating the total return. So then you can at least reconcile to your broker statement. So this uses the function product and you just highlight all the cells here, which means you're just multiplying them together and then minus one. So this will give you the total return for S and P 500. And this is approximately four years. So it's around 17% per year. So the formula, you can actually pause the video here to see, but it's basically one plus the total return to the power of one divided by the years minus one. So this will get you to 17. Okay. So this gives you the annual return, the total return and over the number of years. So if you only have one year of data, then you don't need to go through this step because your yearly return is your one year return. But in this case, I'm using four years. So then you see, what the S&P 500 return is over two, three cycles. Now let's calculate the second item. So we have the return already minus risk-free, which is 5%. So we need the standard deviation. Now for standard deviation, you need to use this column, which is the monthly return. So ST DDV brackets, and then you just highlight this column and this will give you the standard deviation, which is around five. So very simply, you just take the 17% minus the risk-free rate and then divided by 5%, which is the standard deviation, then you can get your sharp ratio, which is 2.46. Okay, so if you just look at the formula here, is 17% minus five, 
divided by the standard deviation, 5%. So if I lower the risk-free rate to 3%, it goes to 2.86. So the last couple of years, S&P 500 has been performing very well. So that means if your strategy doesn't even yield a 2.5 sharp ratio, then you're better off investing in SPY in terms of risk to reward. And I have gone through a lot of strategies and there are many strategies that don't outperform SPY. And once you run the analysis, you will actually be surprised by how many strategies don't work out the way you think it should, which is why it's important to find a strategy that works. So this is one of my strategies and using the historical data, I'm able to calculate the monthly return and the percentage change for the same period. So I can look at it since 2020. So same formula, total return is product. You highlight the re percentage return column, minus one. So in this case, the strategy yields around 273%. Years is the same, 3.8. And this gives an annual return of 41%, which the formula is one plus the total return to the power of one divided by years and then minus one. Okay, so when it comes to investing strategy, I usually aim for a strategy that can at least yield 30%. And then for something like where you're using historical data, this is a very ideal situation where you're able to follow all of the steps very precisely. So chances are, let's say you're only able to follow the steps 80% of the time, then your annual return will be closer to around 30%, which is my goal. So my model return is 41% and my standard deviation here you can see that it is 10%. So same formula, STDEV, open brackets, and then you highlight the monthly return column. And this gives me a sharp ratio of 3.6, which is satisfactory. So I'm actually happy with this strategy. And I have gone through maybe 20 to 30 different models to arrive at this one at the moment. Now, obviously you will be able to argue that, hey, you wouldn't be able to follow the model very precisely. So that's why if you take a discount, and let's say you are able to get 30% and your standard deviation will need to be revised, you're still getting a sharp ratio of around 2.49. So it's just a matter of how well you can follow the model. So when you think about sharp ratio, you would take your own return and then put it into the Excel formula so then calculate your own sharp ratio. And what that really measures is your skill as an investor. So if you believe you have been improving, then you want to do multiple sharp ratios to see if your sharp ratio is increasing. You can watch the free webinar, which will be in the link down in the description as well. So that will share my charting system in terms of how to find discounted stocks. And I mainly focus on investing in blue chip companies to either generate long-term gains with options or I invest in blue chip companies with options to generate monthly passive income. So I'll see you in the webinar.